What's up guys, Ian Sandusky from Lakewood Machine and Tool back here again for Practical Machinists as we continue our live coverage of ESEC 2025. And here at Horn USA, I'm joined by my friend Adrian. Hey, it's nice to meet you. Thank you very much for having us. Uh, now, this caught my eye because I've actually run these in my shop. What are we looking at here? Yeah, yeah. so this is our, this is our new 105 Super Mini Series with a centered chip breaking geometry. Uh, this has been a, uh, a major innovation in, in our tooling and, and we are, uh, we're getting a lot of good feedback. Um, this is coming standardized in two different coatings and um, from a six millimeter minimum bore diameter down to four millimeter minimum bore diameter. Um, this has been very effective with helping break the chip on those tougher stainless steels and, and materials that, that are now, when you guys say centered, what, what are you referring to there when you're talking about centered? Yeah, so centered um, uh, opposed to ground geometry. This is, we could almost consider this a stamped geometry. Ah, okay. In a sense. And what does that do differently for the performance versus something like a ground geometry? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah, but <laughs> either way, you're getting better chip breaking out yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see, I don't have a good answer for that. Um, I guess uh, uh, centering... Uh, the pro to having a centered is you can now, something like this would be very difficult to grind. Right. Um, if you're going to use a centered process, now your, your capabilities um, on what you can put on the cutting edge expand major. And these things are tiny. I wouldn't want to try to grind those even if I could. It looks like you almost have like an internal grooving tool there. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And uh, yeah, that one's probably about a millimeter wide. Uh, this 105 series, we've got uh, grooving inserts, face grooving inserts, profiling inserts, threading inserts. And am I incorrect to say that that looks like that thing at that small diameter actually has through coolant? Yes, it does. They all do. Yes, and, and, and they are extruded with through coolant. Every single one that we offer in the Super Mini series is coolant through. It's super important too when you're doing those tough stainless grades because what happens if it starts getting hot? Right. You're going to exactly. work hard on it, yeah. you're going to snap it. And it doesn't take long. That's those right. ones are super, super cool. I know we've run those in 316, we've run those in 304, and for those really, really tiny bore diameters and yes. counter bores, yeah. they have been very, very good. Now, you guys have so much stuff here, I do want to make sure we see some other stuff that's here. Yeah, let's go what on the other side. What do we got on the other side of this, side of this one here? I was kind of taking a peek at this earlier. Yeah, so um, we've got, we've got a, a number of different things here. Uh, a couple of things I want to point out is we've got some new firearm um, standardized tooling technology. Starting here with the AR-15 Magwell broaching, this is a part of our 117 system. Um, we were making these inserts as a custom option for a long time. We come to realize that the, the demand is pretty high, so we decided to make this a standardized tool system now. Both the holder and the several different inserts used to broach these corners on this AR Magwell are now something that you can buy directly from us right off of the shelf. Straight off the shelf, you don't right need to be Right off the shelf, around. no lead time, no minimum quantities. And it's really cool to see because, especially, we've done some stuff similar to this, when you have the, the bolt and the bolt carrier, you're essentially taking it so someone doesn't need to start from zero figuring out how to do this. Exactly. They essentially buy what looks like a tooling package for it, right. and you can be off and running the next yes. day. Yes, yeah, and we even have some flyers that are very specific to firearm manufacturing. You can see our different tool systems, where they've been used in the past, on different, different uh, uh, dimensions and features for for all your firearm needs and I recognize this this is a slide it's funny to see this because I remember we made some of these years ago for a customer and uh, trying to do some of these little features that I see you guys have off-the-shelf tooling for yeah we were losing it trying to figure right, it out right. we got there but the fact yeah. you can just buy that and away you go especially the broaching stuff right um, rotating tools are great and you can do a lot of uh, roughing material but for a lot of these um, components, you you know you need a square edge. You can't do that with a with a, a rotating tool. So the broaching stuff is uh, it's it's one of our specialties. We sell a lot of it. And people really like it. And this over here, of course, this is medical. If I'm not incorrect. Oh, absolutely, bone screws. Yes, thread whirling. Uh, we've got a partner company, W and F, that actually will um, creates the live tooling um, holder, if you will. Horn Horn will produce both the cage as well as the inserts. And we've got a few different um, systems of thread whirling, turbo whirling, jet whirling, and essentially the difference between all of these is do you want your whirling cage to also qualify your major diameter? Is your 
major diameter already been done, you know what I mean? So When you say qualify essentially for a turning kind of stupid guy like me, that means it's also going to touch the outside diameter, right. bring it right in where you right. need it. So we can go just from bar stock to finished product. And these things, the advantage of them, not only is it accurate and repeatable, but they're really, really fast. Really, really fast, exactly, yes. And especially on these, these Swiss, mach Swiss machines that just want to run, you know, you've got a long bar stock. Hey, if you got a 20 foot bar, you can probably make what? 300 of these screws. And you'd be spitting out one of those every few seconds. Yeah, they are quick. Now let's take a look around here because I did see something else that looks kind of like thread whirling. You're the expert, not me. This, oh, it says it right on it. Yeah. This is kind of the same idea, is it It not? is, it is. This is basically an, uh, an expansion. And this is the W and F holder I was talking about, mentioned earlier. Um, and what these do is they've got different swing angles, usually between 15 to 20 degrees. And what, uh, and what that does is compensates for the helix angle of all these different medical screws. Um, and that doesn't mean that if your helix angle is above 20 degrees that we're, we're in tough shape because we can actually build some of that into the insert as well. Um, when Horn provides uh, both the cage and, and the thread whirling inserts, um, we'll also give you a setting angle to, to put the holder to so that, you know, minimize the, the setup time and, and any scrap. You're helping people make parts really, really fast. Really fast, really accurate, yes. Now, one thing when I think Horn that kind of always stood out to me in my head was kind of the grooving end of things. And this looks like grooving, but for a mill. Right, right, yeah. So um, here we have our mini milling system examples with our holders. Um, this is a carbide holder with a steel head that has been brazed on. Our, our carbine insert will fit onto this steel brazed head. The benefit to this system is you've got a mostly carbide shank, very, very effective with vibration resistance. Um, another key point that I want to mention is if this seating surface on this braised head starts to wear out, these holders can be repaired. Oh, really? This can be sent into us and we can put a new head on there. And it's a much cheaper than buying the whole insert right, so again. So that's the purpose of having that on there. Basically, you're getting longer, right. not only longer tool life, but longer holder life out of it as well. Right. Now, let's take a peek over here because I saw one thing I really wanted to talk about. This is a system that always fascinates me when I get to see it run. I mean, this is power skiving, is yes, it not? Yes, it is. Yep, power skiving. And... Um, Power skiving, gear skiving has become, uh, it, it, the demand has, has really increased over the last few years. Horn is, um, offers several different systems. Here we've got a, a system that's basically all from ground from solid carbide, right? Jeez. And then we've got another system which is just the, the carbide head that screws onto the body. And it looks like you actually have some kind of insertable system you could get if you wanted we do, as well. We do, and this is actually a similar one, uh, 117 platform that we saw earlier on our broaching series. Um, all, all this stuff is going to be very specific. You know, this is all made to order tooling, but uh, there's, there's always a ratio with the diameter that you're trying to manufacture and the tool diameter, and, and there's a lot of development and, and design that goes into it. But it's made for making gears really, really, really fast. Really fast and very accurate, you know. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, I, of course, uh, the, the class of the gear plays a role. Um, but there's a lot of guys that used to broach an individual tooth and then finish grind. Well, a lot of our skiving tools exit out that finished grind operation. Oh, really? And you just have a finished product. Easy peasy. Yeah, man. And this I want to look at over here. This is also grooving, but look at these parts. Some of these or, uh, these widths on these are so small. Yes. How do you possibly make a tool that can, like that thing looks like it could groove you know, five times D, 10 times D. Yeah. That's kind of where, I mean, obviously there's a lot of applications here. You there guys are. really shine in that environment. We do. The, the, the small stuff is, uh, it's tricky and it, it can be a pain for some people, but um, a lot of it comes down to the quality and the tolerancing of our tooling. Um, even here with some of our narrow slot, slot milling cutters, these could be great for just those narrow slots on an ER call it. Right. Okay. Um, and we, we've had great success, multiple teeth, of course lessen the chip load per tooth. Um, these things can go all the way down to 0.2 millimeters or eight thousandths of an inch. Now that you say that, that thing is, if it's not actually made for call it manufacturing, it might as well be made for call it manufacturing. <laughs> that's, that's right. That's exactly where that's yeah. gonna shine. Yeah. And if people wanna find out more about Horn USA, where can they go? Uh, we've, we've got a website, uh, just hornusa.com. Um, and uh, we've, got, uh, we've got product catalogs on there. Anybody can go onto our website and request our catalogs, um, and uh, that would be the best place to start. And of course, you can come check them out live here at ESEC 2025. 
Thank you very much for watching, guys, and make sure you stay tuned as we continue our live coverage.